Hey, what's up students? I wanted to go over that number 20 from the worksheet, rectangular prism formula. So I try to draw a picture of a rectangular prism, as you can see right here on the worksheet, um, to get you to understand there's six sides to a rectangular prism, also known as a box. Here's the formula. The area would equal two LWs, two LHs, and then two HWs. So basically, like the front and the back, the left and the right, and then the top and the bottom, or anything you want to interchange. So here's the formula. And then you got to solve it for L. Okay, so let's solve that for L. Here we go. Area equals all this noise. The only thing you can really do is you can get rid of this 2HW because we still have some L's sticking in these groups. You want to remove the L's from each of those groups using that little reverse distribution trick, okay? If L is stuck in here and it's stuck in here, you got to take it back out by reverse distribution. Then basically L is times this group. Can you wax out this entire group in one move? Yes, you can, you just divide by that group. So there you go. L is gonna equal A minus a 2HW all divided by a 2W plus a 2H. Now again, remember, most of these variables can be interchanged. This could be a WH, the H could be here and the W could be here, but this is gonna be the formula that's gonna get you the length if you had the area, the height, and the width. And part C, they just so happen to do that. As you can see, they say, hey, if the area is this much and the height is this much and the width is this much, find the L. Okay, sweet, here you go. You put the A, the H, and the W, these numbers, 61, 12, 36, and 28, you put them into the formula that you have just created. So here's what it looks like written out. A, H, W, W, H. Plug it all in, do a little math, you get 32. Boom, disgusting, right? But uh, still mathematically totally legal, okay? The big move that I want you to kind of focus on here is if you ever get stuck, if you ever have two variables or you have the same variable in two separate spots, remember you can wax out, okay, that L, okay? You can wax that L out of there um, by reverse distribution. It's in a first group and a second group. Take it out of each group and then you rewrite it as one of those distribution problems. You're undoing a distribution, also known as reverse distribution, okay? Uh, hopefully that'll help you out with number 20. Uh, we'll see you in class. Goodbye.